Hi, this is the sub kick trick uh, using the signal generator in Pro Tools. First of all, what I've done is I've made two tracks, one audio track and one uh, instrument track. And on the instrument track, I've created a four bar loop using the Expandy plugin. Um, and what you want to do after that is highlight the an equal chin to the kick uh, uh, on the audio track. And then go to the audio suite, go to other, go to signal generator. And what you're going to want to do is uh, change the frequency to between 40 and 45 hertz um, to get a nice sub kick. Maybe increase the, uh, the level a little bit. It looks like it's decreasing, but you know it's negative. So, um, and I leave it on sine wave. Uh, you could change it to square or sawtooth, but these tend to make it sound more. Um, of like a techno sub and if that's what you're going for that's perfectly fine uh, I tend to leave it on sine wave and um, what you're going to do is uh, preview uh, what it sounds like before you do it and uh, you can't hear it but um, it's pretty low so alright sounds good we're going to hit process next alright and then we're done with that so far next what we're going to do is we're going to insert uh, an expander gate on the audio track. Oops, wrong one. All right, go to dynamics uh, and go to expander gate. All right, and now we're going to uh, put the key input to the uh, b bus one and we're going to turn on the side chain. Now next what we're going to do is um, on the instrument track uh, put the send put the first send to uh, the mono bus, bus one yeah. alt click that to uh, get it to unity gain and then uh, you should be set, you press play and every time the kick hits uh, it will trigger the sub sound um, in the audio track but only when the kick hits obviously I put too high of a level maybe too low of a frequency so it is peaking which you don't want so you might have to make your own adjustments but that's how you do the sub kick trick